Uh, fourth up in line, we're going to hear from Vina with SalesBeat. Vina, the floor is yours. Thank you, Kendra. Hi, everyone. I'm Vina, a co-founder and the CEO of SalesBeat. We are eliminating lost sales in fast-moving consumer goods companies, also known as consumer packaged goods companies. I have 20 years in this industry, consulting for and working in large companies like PepsiCo and Diageo. I used to set up local teams and subsidiaries for fast moving consumer goods companies globally. In my first sales role, I led the international wine sales team at Diageo to beat their targets for the first time since they were set up by taking a data driven approach to sales. It may surprise you to know this, but salespeople typically use historical sales data to have discussions around orders and promotions with customers. Next slide, please. And this results in $3 trillion in lost sales due to out of stock. And as you can see in this picture, which was taken during a heat wave, not a single Pepsi on shelf, which results in $20 billion of lost sales for Pepsi in just one year. And it happens not just during unexpected heat waves, but each time a social media post trends. These cannot be forecast in the long term, but they can be monitored and acted upon on a timely basis. Next slide, please. CRMs, field sales and merchandising apps, and demand planning apps don't solve this problem. Next slide, please. And this is why we launched Beat. Beat is an app that uses AI to process not just historical sales data, but weather forecasts, memberships and points cards, consumer trends, as well as demographics data to make predictive recommendations and orders and promotions to salespeople so they can then discuss this with the buyer. We launched our MVP in June at the height of COVID. Next slide, please. Despite this, we are in trial discussions with 25 large CPG corporates and have three agreed pilots already. In five years time, we expect to generate $106 million in revenues, driven primarily by Beat being used by 23 corporate customers globally. Next slide, please. We are currently raising $750,000 in funding to go towards platform development and sales and marketing and have $350,000 already committed. We are looking to raise the rest. You already know about me, so on to my co-founder, Alex, who has more than 20 years in startups. 20 and tech. seconds. He has been developing apps, managing web development projects, and advising startups on their tech strategy. Together, we are SalesBeat. We are the future of the fast-moving consumer goods industry. If you would also like to learn more about us or invest in us, email me at vina at salesbeat.co. Happy to answer any questions you might have. Thank you. Vina, thank you. That is your three minutes. Well done. Marie Roca, I'll send it over to you for the four minutes of question and answer from the audience and the judges. I'll start with the audience this time. Have you thought of customer? Oh, I'm sorry. Wrong, wrong message. I'm sorry. Do you have license? I'm sorry. Do you license the app or collect revenue based on the saved sales? We charge $149 per month for each salesperson. And we currently don't license the app, but we are looking at developing partnerships and collaborations with, um, with consulting firms or teams that implement Salesforce. Thank you, judges. Hi, Vina. thank you. I'd love Hello. to know a little bit more about the total addressable market you have here and what other competitors have tried to solve this previously and, and what those business models look like. Right. So first question, which was the total addressable market. That is a $712 billion industry that we are looking at, um, which is software and digital solutions in this place. And to address your questions about who others are solving this problem. So field sales and merchandising apps are basically looking to solve the problem of lost sales as well. And the way they are going about it is basically sending a message to merchandisers or letting field salespeople know when uh, clubs and restaurants or um, stores, store shelves at supermarkets are running out of stock. So they can then pick it up from the warehouse or from wholesalers and put it on shelf. And a lot of the times the problem is that the wholesalers or the warehouses and the customers don't have the stock, which is where we come in. So we make sure that 
the salespeople sell enough stock into the stores, so the warehouses are stocked, or into wholesalers, so they are stocked. Does that answer your question? Yeah, a little bit, but but would love to dig a little bit deeper or, or even come out a little bit further and understand um, like who would be your competitor? Are there any other kind of companies out there that are aggregating this data and pinging retailers to let them know that they need to stock up? Right. So not at the moment. Um, so there's a lot of um, apps out there. So for example, Anaplan, they basically process historical sales data and let retailers know and companies know how much to produce so that they are ready with the stocks. And you have field sales app and merchandising apps which use visual AI to basically detect when the, the store is running out of stock on shelves. And those are the sort of ways they are coming at the solution. They're not looking at whether the warehouses themselves have stock, which is basically what we look at. So if we are sort of looking at the problem, there's a few different companies trying to solve this problem, but there's just us who are basically approaching the solution in the way that we are, if that answers your question. We have one more question, <laughs> room for one more question. Molly, did you wanna go? Yeah, Vina, um, thank you for this. Um, what are you thinking about in terms of your, I know you said you're looking to fundraise, what are you going to use the money for in the next steps? Like, are you hiring? Are you, do you foresee you'll need a lot of people on the ground? Is it going to be mostly tech? I'm, I'm looking for those kinds of, those kinds of thoughts. Yeah. So um, it's going 60% towards platform development, roughly, and the rest towards sales and marketing. And we are looking to hire two front-end developers, two back-end developers, and a data scientist. Um, and on the sales and marketing side, we are looking at hiring a salesperson um, and a CMO um, sort of beginning of next year, not right now. Um, and the way we are going about um, with the sales process is basically through collaborations. So working with um, consulting firms that are advising companies on their sales intelligence stack, as well as on um, Salesforce or just how um, employees should be treated. Um, and you have companies that implement Salesforce for different companies and customize it for them. So we basically collaborate with them so that we can be added on as a solution on top of Salesforce uh, because we integrate with them. Um, and those are the sort of collaborations that we are looking at for sales. Is that so, no. $750,000? Sorry, what was that? Is that eight people with $750,000? Yes, we are a very right. lean startup. Okay, cool, got it. <laughs> Thank you, Vina. No problem, thank you. You can find her at salesbeat.com, is that correct? And dot yes. CO, so dot it's, CO. it's dot I CO. know it's yeah. unit with the CO. Yeah. Um, and again, please feel free to answer the questions in the Q&A, any yeah. of the um, presenters as well. Thank you. Thanks for all your time. Thanks. Thank you.